Hello, Go Monkeys and fellow Vedsies. Today we're going to go to Target because I need new socks. Super Target. It's like regular Target, but super. Even though I am 23 years old, every time I go into a Target, I end up in the superhero action figure aisle. Some of these action figures are just ridiculous. Oh look, it's an action figure based on an incredibly terrible Spider-Man adaptation that I genuinely hope none of you wasted your money on. My first thought upon seeing this one was, why does Spider-Man need a car? And for this one, I must ask, why does Iron Man need to strap a giant jetpack to his back? He's already got a jetpack in his feet. I must say though, I am a fan of Battle Axe Batman. I also frequently pay a visit to the Legos. Oh, things I wish I could justify purchasing. Oh look, I'm in the electronics area. Wonder what I could be looking for in there. Geek and Sundry! Oh look at all the lovely hats, many of which are on clearance. It's a shame that Target seems to think there's something wrong with my head size and refuses to stop anything that will fit me. Okay, so I've concealed myself very briefly in the uh, dressing room because uh, I just remembered why I hate buying socks and why I don't do it very often. $13 for six pairs of socks. This is the awkward look of a person who realizes that somebody has just occupied the stall next to him and they can now hear him talking to himself. And then he made a daring escape. So I didn't want today's video to be another super duper short one, so I just thought I'd show you guys this. This was my birthday gift to me this year. Ever since the Harry Potter movies first started coming out, I've wanted a wardrobe trunk, and I finally got one on Craigslist. This one was only $75, which is a really, really good price for something like this. As you can see, it's a little bit of a fixer-upper. I need to do a lot of restorative work on this thing, but uh, I'm actually looking forward to doing that. The original locking mechanism is gone, so I'm going to be installing a bracket in here and then uh, dribbling out a piece of this so I can put a padlock on it. I'm gonna have to clean up the outside a fair bit. Let me go ahead and open it up and show you what's going on on the inside. As you can see, this thing does definitely have a few years on it. Back when these things were being mass produced, they would actually upholster the inside of them with fabric. The problem with that being is that fabric tends to retain smell. I don't know why there are so many cars on my street today. So I'm gonna be stripping all the fabric out of the inside of this thing, giving it a good sand, and then I'm gonna paint it. So as you can see, uh, this guy still lifts up right here. The purpose of that is to give you nice easy access to the inside hangers if you want. But what's cool is that uh, if you don't feel like opening that up for any reason, these actually extend outward so you can still uh, get to all your hangers. And this one still has the original hangers with it so that's really cool. It's got these two drawers down here in the bottom. Uh, both of them completely pop out. They don't really have drawer tracks like we might have today. They essentially just have a piece of metal right here that it slides on. But this right here is actually my favorite part. The way that this drawer works is that it actually folds down out of the trunk and then you pop open these two little snaps here and you can fold it up and inward and it's got some drawers right here. So I can have it sort of segmented like this or I can take pieces out if I want to. So that is very, very cool. So as you can see, this is gonna be a long project, but I'm really looking forward to do it and I'll probably be giving you guys some updates along the way. Thanks for watching today's video and until next time, Cub Monkeys and fellow Vedsies, I will see you later.